Hello everybody, I'm Chris with Wilson Exterior Cleaning. And today I want to show you all a soft wash roof wash and also give you a little tour of our trailer. So here we've got two soft wash reels. I think 250 feet of hose on each one. We've got two tanks to pull from and two pumps. We get into here, we're gonna turn one on and start this roof wash. So what I've done is I've got two replacement switches here. We had a system in place. The system's no longer in place. So we got a red reel and a gray reel. This is temporary. It comes up to these two pumps and to the red reel and the gray reel. So if you wanted something, say from the red reel, come over here, take your suction line, just the hose with some PVC, drop it in. And you turn on your red reel. These self-priming prompts pumps are pretty good five gallons a minute 12 volts we've got two deep cycle marine batteries plug it into the house and charge it if you need to okay so here we've got a 150 gallon tank we've got half chlorine half fresh water you can add dawn soap you can add purex laundry detergent a surfactant to make it sticky uh, if you're just doing asphalt shingle roofs you really don't need anything too special as far as the soaps go, but we're going to uh, fill this tank up, mix it around, we'll get started. So we're going to get on the roof, we're going to apply the chemical to the top, let it drip down. What we have here is a PVC wand I've made, they're pretty simple, you can go to Lowe's or Home Depot and buy these parts. We've got a J-Rod that's split in half, and uh, this is a fan tip, so we're going to use the fan tip just to kind of distribute. And it's very important you have a respirator, gloves, goggles, protection. Uh, it's pretty potent. You don't want it on the plants and you surely don't want it on your skin. Be sure to spray any plants that may come in contact with the chemical from the overspray of the roof before, after, and during spraying of the roof. We finished the roof wash, but a lot of people say you can let it rain, let the water kind of rinse away the mold, or just even get that chlorine off of the shingles. Uh, we're not gonna wait for the rain. It's very important that you just dilute it, rinse it down. So I'll show you guys how to do that from the ladder easily. You can use a taller A-frame, of course, but this is all we're gonna need here today. You just wanna start up high and let the water run down. Just make sure those shingles are safe and. You're not going to leave this customer with, you know, any kind of roof mix on their roof. So we drop the suction line into a bucket of water. And then we're going to put the wand back into the tank and just turn it on so we're getting that water flowing. We're going to flush in the pump with fresh water, putting the roof mix back into the roof mix tank. That way you know that pump's not going to rot on you. You might get a half a year out of it a year. But you always want to do water after you've used chlorine in a pump. And that's how you soft wash a roof. I hope this was helpful. We've got a clean roof, granules in place, plants are safe.